What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Run Good coming back at you with a very very special Monday video. This is the March Madness Box Battle Round of 8. Yes, we made it through last week against Loot Box TV. Of course, I got a technical foul last round. Charging. That's foul. In the group chat, one of the key uh, key rules that I missed was that I was only supposed to open a basketball box. As you guys know, I opened the longevity football box under 100 bucks. I pulled the Mac Jones Crusade Auto and uh, knocked Loot Box out of the round. I took the dub. Um, I, they are going to let me go through. Loot Box said it was totally cool. Um, but we are going to play by the rules this round and moving forward because we're going to take this whole thing. This is round two. My opponent this week, uh, before we get into my opponent, I just want to say a big thank you to Loot Box. You know, they are a much larger channel here on YouTube. And um, really showed me a lot of love, really got a lot of new eyes on the channel. So Lootbox Juice, thank you so much for what you did. Sorry it had to go down that way. Uh, wish your Luca Red Cracked Ice could have got the job done. At the end of the video, I will be doing a giveaway. Uh, we are supposed to do a giveaway. The loser is supposed to do a giveaway. Instead of having Lootbox send that, no, he's a busy dude. I'm going to go ahead and give somebody from my comment section a Mosaic Cello Pack instead. All right, our opponent... Oh, before I get to the box. Our opponent today is Mile High Sports Guy and... He is a smaller channel on YouTube. I got a little bit of a bone to pick. Mile high. Denver. You just got my quarterback. So we got to beat you in the round of eight. Sorry, buddy. Um, so in this round, it is going to be the best card wins. And the limit on the price of box that we can choose is $200. When I heard this, when we moved on, I immediately knew the box. This was a no-brainer to me. Not going to go newer because we can go any year of basketball we want. And without question, the obvious choice was 1718 Status Basketball. This is a product that I've been in love with for the last few weeks. This product at about $190 a box does have the 1718 Rookie Class. So we're talking Lonzo, we're talking Tatum. Uh, we are talking Deer and Fox, Bam Adebayo. I think there's a couple others in there that I always forget. Lori Markinen. Also, the reason I like these boxes is they are $200 for a hobby box. One guaranteed auto. You do get a few numbered cards also on the auto checklist other than the rookies that i mentioned you've got kobe bean bryant you've got damian lillard you've got magic johnson you've got steph curry or not steph curry you've got durant um grant hill a lot of good names on the vet checklist so it's not necessarily a bad thing to pull a vet auto again right at the top of the mark for this round 200 dollars a box one card wins and we will also pick a card if we don't win to give away to mile high sports guys um member section you gotta leave a comment let me know um yeah just let me know what you think of the battles let me know if you enjoy content like this this big 14 uh youtube channels involved in this tournament let me know what you guys would like to see if for additional ones uh i do want to say thank you to 502 frank for hosting this, for putting this on, doing all the coordination. I'm rocking the Shy City Pools hat. He has a matchup today against Hitman Rips. Sorry, Hitman. I got to go with Shy City Pools getting the dub, along with RGL getting the dub. Here we go, 1718 status. Uh, this is a product that I've been singing the phrases of. I do think that it is a great value in this uh, market that we're in right now, especially the chance at a Kobe Auto. It's going to be a, a hard pull of Kobe Auto, obviously, but... Here is everything we can hit. Again, everything numbered down to one of ones. At worst case, I'm expecting to see, you know, just a Tatum base auto, which is about a $10 card. Best case scenario, we hit a Kobe today, uh, which would be, that would be God tier, obviously. Um, but again, the checklist for um, the checklist for autos is very good. So let's go ahead and get into it today. Let's try to get that one card because it is a one card only. So it's best card wins. Do we have our auto in pack one? I think think I do see it. So let's go ahead and save that pack for last. I think that was our auto. Maybe, maybe not. All right. Lowry Barnes AD. Rookie credentials. That's going to be a Lonzo ball. Probably worth a couple of bucks. Uh, Victor Oladipo is going to be one of our first numbered cards. 33 of 75. And then Ante Zizek. So yeah, when I did move on, I knew immediately that this was the box I was going to rip. There are not too many hobby boxes for basketball under $200 especially not of Zion rookie year, not of Anthony Edwards rookie year. So the other options were mega boxes and things like that. And for me, the the smart money was on a hobby box with one guaranteed auto for under 200. And it was definitely this box. Rookie credentials, Jarrett Allen. 
forgot he was a rookie uh, this year. Jeff Hornacek on the status symbols and Terrence Ferguson. This might be the first time that you've ever seen this product. If so, at $200 a rip, it is a fun rip. Again, that Tatum rookie class. Tatum and the Celtics are just nuts right now. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Also, I should probably mention, uh, in about an hour or so, I will be going live with group breaks. I think we'll have one of these boxes in a break as well. These are boxes that I absolutely love. So we do a lot of three-year basketball and things like that. Pretty cool one right here with Steph, KD, and Clay Thompson. We would love to see the KD in, a, in the auto, like I mentioned. He is on the auto checklist. Probably only worth a dollar or so. Harry Giles. So yeah, I think I went in a totally different direction than most people in this round. Again, I don't know for sure because I am recording this on Friday for a Monday upload, but I would imagine most people are going to do newer basketball, and I wanted to do older basketball, so this one made the most sense. Rookie credentials of Terrace Ferguson, factions of the Detroit Pistons, and then we have a semi ojale rookie, not the Celtics rookie we are looking for in this box. All right, keep it on rolling. Uh, Steven Adams, Jeff Teague, D. Wade. Rookie credentials, there he is again. Can we get one Tatum? Uh, Semi Ojale. Uh, we have a factions with Worthy, Kareem, and Magic Johnson. I'd like to see Magic on that auto. And then a rookie of Lori Markinen. Good rookie class in 1718. Still gets overlooked. You know, some of the products like Prism and whatnot are very expensive, but this is a product that I think is flown under the re radar in terms of value a lot of value here nice Steph base right there we have a status quo that is going to be Reggie Miller not numbered on the status quo we have a factions of the Wizards and then a Tyler Lighten. yeah it has not gone well we have four packs left not gone well so far I think our best card probably that Lonzo we would love to see a Tatum something to get us on the board Rodney Hood we have Ryan Anderson Eric Bledsoe Kawhi, Mr. Fun Guy for the Spurs. Frank Jackson is going to be a rookie blue. Going to be numbered 95 of 199 on the Frank Jackson. I'm not sure. I Probably only a dollar or two. Don't know too much about Frank Jackson. And then an OG Ananobi rookie. Yeah, we haven't seen Tatum yet. Uh, this one's thick, but pretty sure this is just going to be a spacer. There are not any relics in this set. So pretty sure this is just going to be a spacer. Uh, Porzingis, Gasol, Brogdon, and Vucevic. Yep, there's that spacer. This... Oh. Oh, we got trolled. We got trolled, but it is going to be numbered. Oh, I saw Giannis on the back, and I was like, I don't think he's on the checklist. That's going to be a factions blue of Giannis, Middleton, and Brogdon. Probably going to be our most valuable card. Probably, I don't know, five bucks. Six bucks, ten bucks, something like that. Oh, I saw the backwards card. I thought, oh, one time. One time, Giannis Auto. That would have been sick. Uh, to 199 on the Factions Trio. And our rookie is Jawan Evans. Oh, that would have been that would have been a dirty, dirty way to move on into the next round. Of course, it is gonna be the best card. My one card versus Mile High Sports Guys one card. So after you're done watching my video, you're going to want to go check out his video, see who won the battle. Uh, we will go by eBay value unless it comes down to the wire. Then I think 502 Frank is making the judgment calls. Another Giannis status symbols, not numbered. Cool looking Giannis though. And then Jarrett Allen rookie. Okay, we're down to one pack left. Our best card right now is the Giannis factions. Oh boy, this is going to be our auto. Let's go behind the auto. I'm trying not to spoil it. We have Ricky Rubio, 41 of 299. Dwayne Bacon is our rookie. Brad Beal, Zach Levine, Kemba Walker, and our auto. Yeah, I don't know. Those colors do look like Charlotte, don't they? We could be wrong, though. Could be wrong. Uh, Wesley Windu. Oof, this one's going to be rough. Uh, gold Wesley Windu, 8 of 10 is our auto. Man, a gold auto of a player that uh, probably not too much value. I do think this will probably be our most valuable card in the box, so even being a gold auto, just not quite the name we were looking for there. 
I would imagine there are still one or two collectors out there who collect this dude, propping up his market. Maybe he plays internationally. Maybe he's on maybe he's on a bench somewhere, but I can't tell you too much about him. We'll hit the value somewhere up there. But overall, I'm pretty sure a gold auto, even of a no-name player, probably going to be worth more than a Giannis Factions to 199 I think this is the card that we are taking into battle. Um, so in the event that we lose this battle, I will go ahead and give the Giannis to 199 to somebody's comment section you know what? i'll also give the lonzo so i'll give two cards if we lose this one if mile high moves on into the top four i will go ahead and give one of these or i'll give both of these cards to one person in mile high sports guys comment section so of course in order to be entered in for a guaranteed chance to win you gotta like my video be subscribed to my channel drop a comment let me know what you think of these uh, these mark these box battle videos uh, let me know if you want to see something different maybe in a future battle and then go over to mile high sports guys channel I'll go ahead and link his link his uh, channel in the comments below do the exact same thing like his video subscribe to his channel and drop a comment whatever he wants you to comment and no matter who wins the tournament you will or wins the battle you will have a guaranteed chance to win a free card Otherwise, we're taking the Wesley Windu into battle. Uh, not too much value, but thankfully it is a gold number to 10. So somebody out there in the world will want this card and definitely has a little bit of value. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say a price range. I think definitely more than the Giannis, though. That is going to do it. We'll be live streaming here in about an hour on the channel at 5 p.m. Pacific on Monday. You can grab break spots over at rungoodlive.com. We'll hope we move on into the final four. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Excited to see if Mile High can get a better card than me. And uh, we'll see if we move on in. So thanks for watching. Go check out Mile High Sports Guys channel. And we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.